r slash just no mother-in-law. Hey guys, Redditta here, this one ends up being 3 posts due to OP updating twice, enjoy. Controlling slash invasive mother-in-law, advice wanted, sorry for the long rant, I'm fairly new to Reddit, but I've been struggling with some of the things my boyfriend's mom does, and I don't know what to do. I, 24F, have been dating my boyfriend, 26 meters, for almost 2 years now, and we have been living together for almost 5 months. Let me start off by saying that my boyfriend's family is a little fornicated up, and he and his mom are extremely close. She is very nice, and I do like her, but I find her to be kind of controlling and overbearing. They have a family group chat that includes my boyfriend, his mom, his other brother and his GF, but I'm not a part of, and they are constantly messaging each other in it, and if she doesn't hear from them in a few hours she freaks. Everything that we do he tells his mom, and there's been many many times she's invited herself out on dates and other things that we have had planned. She's also a very anxious and negative person, and my boyfriend is also and it definitely rubs off on him. Everything that we say or do she always has something negative to say about it, or she has to express her opinion. She doesn't have a job, she's divorced and her other son lives in Cali, so my boyfriend and his dog are literally her entire life. She started spending all day at his house while he's working, cleaning his whole house, cooking for him, doing his laundry, etc. The issue I'm having is she is still doing this, even though we've been dating for a while, and I'm now living with him. She's a clean freak, and she comes over when we are not her, cleans everything, moves things around, and will even reorganize our things. There's been many instances where we can't find things because she's moved them. I will make the bed in the morning and she will remake it. Back in October my boyfriend and I went on vacation for a week, and she stayed at our house, and she brought it upon herself to deep clean our house. Everything I have in his house was moved and reorganized, from my macube slash hair slash stuff in the bathroom, all the way to my underwear in the closet. She also babies my boyfriend's dog, and lets him act however he wants, and hasn't trained him at all, so he acts insane whenever she's there. My boyfriend has told me she's sent pictures of our dog chewing on my throw pillows to their family group chat. He's tried to tell her she doesn't need to come over every day, but she doesn't listen. She'll complain that she's bored and depressed, and doesn't have anything else to do. She also just comes over whenever she pleases, and never lets me know. She also the kind of person where, if my boyfriend tries to tell her things, like we are frustrated, when we can't find things, she doesn't need to be there all the time, etc. She gets upset, and thinks we don't want her there and acts petty. She just wants to do what she wants. I appreciate that she wants to help and all she does, but we are adults and I think she babies my boyfriend way too much. I just don't how to handle the situation, because I've never really completely expressed how upset all of this has made me, and I know it'll make my boyfriend anxious, because he'll have to talk to her about it, and she always make him feel bad about it. I love my boyfriend, and I do like his mom, but I feel like a doormat, and it's either her way or the highway. Update on controlling slash manipulative JNMIL rant, deg point deg advice wanted, so I made a post about my JNMIL, I'm still trying to come up with a name for her haha, a few weeks ago, my boyfriend's mom. This is the link for my original post for reference, sorry I know it's long. So I have kind of an update kind of not. I've had lots of issues with the things my JNMIL does, basically she is at our house every day all day. When we are at work, cleaning, cooking, moving our stuff around, and keeping our animals company. I have a really hard time with confrontation, so I've kind of just let her do what she wants, and have kept my feelings to myself, but honestly I'm starting to go insane. Long story short, she acts like our house is her house. She puts things the way she wants them, especially the kitchen. So I essentially come home every day and put everything back the way I like them. She makes our bed every day which is just beyond weird to me. 
Also added the fun time we were on vacation and she moved and organized all my things, including my bras and underwear needless to say, I put up with a lot from her, and I just don't want her at our house anymore, when we are not there. I was texting with my so on Friday about a friend I was having some issues with. In our conversation, my so made a comment about how I let my friend walk all over me, and he knew how the situation was going to play out, because I was just going to do what she wanted. Y'all. When I tell you I freaked. I basically told him he was the last person that should be telling me I let people walk over me when he has let his mom walk over him for years that I see how he gets frustrated with the things she does as well and we needed to set boundaries with her. I also brought up how I noticed he has a hard time telling her things because she gets upset. He basically was trying to defend his mom. He said he didn't know why we were talking about is her, the situation with her has nothing to do with what we were talking about, and said she's just trying to help us. He said that he could tell I got upset about things she did, and that he would talk to her. Everything's been fine between us since then. Last night I made a comment about how I didn't have to work the next day, I work a retail job, so my schedule changes every week and I always have different days off. And he seemed surprised, and was like oh I need to tell my mom she doesn't need to come over then. Like, I need to talk to him again, and be more specific about what I meant by talking to her. I'm just getting the awful feeling, that he's just going to keep saying I'll talk to her, but is never going to. I've thought about messaging her myself, but I feel, like it would be rude, because honestly I don't have a relationship with her. We don't have each other's numbers, we are friends on Facebook, but we don't interact on there either. I feel like we both have resentment towards each other, her towards me, because she feels like I'm stealing her baby away, and she can't do what she wants anymore, and me towards her, because of the way she acts. And to be clear I don't hate her, she is sweet, but I'm learning they have an enmeshed relationship and just doesn't have any boundaries. She just comes to our house whenever she wants, she does what she wants, and this is only allowed because I know my so is still in the fog and is terrified to tell her things because she'll guilt trip him and he thinks it's his job to take care of her and her feelings. An update on controlling invasive mother-in-law success. TLDR. I broke up with my boyfriend because he can't stand up to his mom and I'm happier than ever. You'll probably won't remember. But I made a post a while ago about my boyfriend's mother and how invasive and controlling she is. The one where she would literally be at our house every day while we are at work cooking, cleaning our house, making our bed, organizing and moving our stuff around, and things like that. Well I finally came to my breaking point and let me tell you I had a major breakdown. I've been dealing with this shiz for over 2 years. So I went off and told my boyfriend every little thing she had done over the course of our relationship and how fornicated it is and how it made me feel. I decided I was moving out because I hated living there and I told him he needed to have a real talk with his mom and I didn't want her coming over and being so involved with everything and if not then we were breaking up. Well literally the next day she was at his house cleaning and cooking and all he ever does is make excuses for her. Also his idea of talking to her is basically him telling her oh you really don't have to do these things anymore instead of actually telling her how he hates the things she does and how upset I was over it too. He said he didn't want to tell her how mad I was about everything because she'd get upset. He just beats around the bush instead of actually addressing the issue. I also realized that he has some of her manipulative tendencies which I don't think he means to be manipulative it's just what he learned from his mom because that's how she acts. He was trying to make me feel crazy for breaking up with him over something stupid as his mom, and he tried to keep my cat too. So it's sad, because we were together for a while but good riddance. I just wanted to give an update, because y'all were right. He's a mama's boy who's hopelessly enmeshed with his mom. But I'm doing great actually and I'm happy. So thanks for everyone who left advice and support for me on past posts, I truly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to smash that cowbell if you want to get notified when the daily upload drops. 
at this point it doesn't even hurt me on the inside to say that in my videos anymore. Now I'm just numb to it. You happy YouTube. Your subscribe button not actually doing what its sole purpose was back when it first showed up here is making me dead inside, and yet you require people to subscribe to us for us to have any success on the platform. It would be nice to not be reminded every time I see that bell that someone with the IQ of a toaster must be making decisions over there, or at least was back when the bell became a thing. Anyway, as always, have a wonderful day.